DJ Pro just released a really cool update, the 5.24 update. And in this short video, I'm going to show you all the cool new features that we get. Number one, this is the biggest deal. You could actually change the volume of the individual samples. People have been asking me for in the comments for years if you could do this, and now you can. So we're going to go over to our sampler. So at first, I was like, where is this volume slider? You have to press the pencil button. So the pencil button down here. And we get one of the hardest one of the hardest controls in the apps to use, but we still get to control the volume. We get a tiny little slider. It reminds me of the impossible to use gain slider over here, but we do get it. So I wish they gave us like a long slider, kind of like the BPM slider or the volume slider, but we get this. So here is the obnoxious air horn. Super loud, and yes, I've had people unplug my DJ equipment for using that too many times, but now we can make it lower. So this one should be about half. So now it's not super annoying. So go through the samples that you use and adjust the volume because some of them are inconsistent, like the air horn. And then once you change it, you could exit out of the pencil mode. And now this sample will stay at this volume whenever you use it. You could do this with every sample in the software. Really cool. People have been asking for a while about that. The next thing that's really cool is we get a new setting in involving our waveforms. So let me open up big view of our waveforms. So I'm going to play this song and then I am going to adjust the BPM and you can see what it does. So really cool, it either stretches it out or compacts it, it goes with the change of the BPM. Really cool feature, but if you don't like it, then you could go here. Middle button, we go to our settings, and now we're going to go to appearance, and then over here, waveforms, we can turn it off. So show BPM change markers. Boom, turn it off. Another really cool feature is the match feature is now available in my collections. So that's with our playlist. So if we open up my collections, we open up our playlist, I have 50 Cent in the club on this side. And now if I open this, move the crossfader, now it's going to give me songs that match that are in my collections. So any song that you add to your playlist are going to be there, are going to be able to use the match feature. This is really cool because the match feature is awesome for finding the next track, and now you could use it in the playlist that you make. Super cool. Next thing we get is a new label. So if we go over here, if we go to the DJ music that we get, and we go all the way to the right, we could see the basement disco. It's kind of like new disco, really cool music. And then now it is here in the software. Also, there was new support on some controllers. So if you guys want to learn how to connect the controller to this amazing software, check out this video over here. Thank you.